Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Skybound X number two, celebrating 10 years of Skybound. Really, it's 11 years this was supposed to happen already, but pandemic, all that, delayed it. Uh, so Skybound X has been a really interesting anthology series. The first issue sold out, not too shocking. Stirred up a lot of controversy about uh, one of the stories within. Um, I, my kind of thought on that is settle down. Settle down, Beavis. Uh, this is going to be way less controversial, I think, as far as the readers go, but I also think it's a really interesting one in that, just like that first issue, this one really probably should be a sellout. There's some potential here with uh, the collector's market that I think is, uh, is going to be pretty big, and we'll explain that in a second. Uh, so as I said, this is an anthology. We got Rick Grimes' 2000 Chapter 2 by Robert Kirkman, Ryan Otley, Cliff Rathburn, David McKay, Russ Wooten, uh, Birthright. In the uh, story is called Ghost Right. Uh, Joshua Williamson, Andre Bresson, uh, Adriana Lucas, Pat Brosu, Everyday Hero, Machine Boy, with a story called Summer Days, uh, Tribe Young and Irma Nivilla, um, Adida uh, Bidikar, and then we got Stillwater, stories called Leaving, Chip Zdarsky, Ramon K. Perez, Mike Spicer, and Russ Wooten. All right, so this is so we're gonna go story by story. The the Rick Grimes two thousand, um, you know, it is basically I think Invincible meets Walking Dead, just over the top violence. Um, I, I find myself laughing just because it's very comedic, really funny, great art, um, just very just that over the top ridiculous violence that that Kirkman I think mastered and Invincible and did did really really well. Um, Birthright. Birthright was a series I enjoyed, uh, and I read I think the first couple of trades. Uh, I gave up after a while just because there's tons of stuff out there, and, and it, you know, you know, it was good, but it wasn't one that I was like had to read every single month. Uh, this was it's a solid story. It, you know, takes us to the fantasy world. There's some nice battles in it. Like it's good. I mean, if you're really into Birthright, I think it's a nice teaser for that. Everyday Hero Machine Boy. Now, this is why I think this this issue might become a collectible. Uh, that is coming out as a is the debut of the character of Everyday Machine Boy. I want to get everything right. It's the first. It's part of the new Skybound Comet line. Is the second book to be released for that, and the Skybound's first ever middle grade graphic novel. So this is the debut of that character. Potentially becomes a really uh, nice collector's item if that character takes off. I can see the multimedia uh, tie-ins with it. It's a really cute. Uh, robot who has this optimism and wants to do good. Um, I think really solid for, for kids. This one's potentially really big uh, with kids, and I would be shocked if there's not some animation down the road uh, concerning the character. I'd be really, really surprised by that. Um, po toys, everything, this is like a no duh on that one. So if you want to maybe bank on some money later, this is a, a issue you want to pick up. Um, then we got Stillwater Leaving. Stillwater, great series, really cool concept. Um, I think a really solid short story. My only uh, gripe with it is I don't think it necessarily explains the concept of Stillwater enough for someone who is um, not familiar with the series. You might go in with it into it like a little confused as to what's going on. So I just wish it explained that a little bit better with maybe one or two line of dialogue, and that's it. So overall, uh, I'm really happy with this. I think this is Skybound X is continuing to be a fantastic uh, anthology uh, highlighting what Skybound brings. It's showing that Skybound is more than just The Walking Dead and Invincible, uh, which are absolutely fantastic. If you are a collector, I think this is a series to pick up. It's uh, what five issues, I think, total. There's tons of debuts. Um, this is going to be one that will become, uh, I think, really big down the road with all those debuts. I know there's going to be a huge Kirkman debut in, I think, the fifth issue. Uh, that one is definitely going to fly off the shelves, so uh, get your order orders in now. Um, and this one, you know, you, you got the, the Machine Boy uh, series, Everyday, it was Everyday Machine Boy, um, that will, I, th I, th I think it's got lots of potential. Uh, if you're a Skybound fan, pick it up. Like, I think uh, if you are reading a lot of the Skybound series, you'll be very happy with this. Uh, so overall, another thumbs up. I think it's just a really fantastic stuff. I wish Skybound did more anthologies like this. It would be really, really cool. Uh, to see this as a regular thing. Uh, maybe just do quarter, quarterly anthology, I think would be really cool. Uh, uh, all the publishers really should do a lot more anthologies and, and just throw stuff out there and have some fun. Um, out in comic shops this week, you can go get it. We got a link beneath this video, put in your zip code, the tell if a shop's near you, no shop, no problem. We have some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage by doing that. You help support our site, so thank you. And just watching our videos support us, so thank you for that. 
If you are into Skybound, if you're into Image, if you're into comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep a geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.